I remember the first time I got a touch of what real love is. And it was after I was um, married for 12 months. And the 11th month, my firstborn son was born. And about a month after that, in the middle of the night, I heard him crying. And my wife and, looked, and I looked at each other, and we realized one of us was going to have to get out of bed in the middle of the night and go over and take care of him. And all of a sudden, I realized I have no idea what love is. <laughs> that this is real love. This is unselfish love, is to get out of bed in the middle of the night and go take care of your child. How many parents know what you're talking about? And um, so, it, it, so he's calling us to a kind of love that's unselfish. You might say eros love is when you want, your, it's a selfish love. Phileo love is a give and take. I'll help you, you help me. And agape love is just a love where you're giving. It's, it's uh, unselfish. You're giving out to love someone else. And Yeshua is saying that I'm calling you up to this level. And John is realizing that, and he starts to, it, it, throughout his whole, all of his books, he talks about this kind of love. As I checked the concordance, it seems that this word agape is in the New Covenant 147 times. 75 times it's in the writings of John. So he really was trying to understand this. As a matter of fact, I think, talk about agape and phileo love, there's a little, I think, barb here from John against Peter. Because the next section he says, yeah, and I'm the disciple that Jesus agapes. In other words, he was sort of saying, I know what agape love, and Peter doesn't know what agape love is. There's a little competition between out the Gospels, between John and Peter, if you never noticed that.